How's it going guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. In this video, I want to do a quick demo tour or review of a new plugin called Compression Preview for Adobe After Effects. And essentially what this simple and very handy utility does in After Effects is it allows you to preview your compositions with certain render settings before you actually have to render the footage out. And this allows you to very easily see the final output on what the image is going to look like before committing to those settings in the render queue. So it's a very nice way to just save time and to preview your results in case the settings that you chose are not very appropriate for what you're trying to achieve or the quality that you're trying to achieve here. So for an example, I have this footage here that is a uh, pretty low light. You know, this result can be very, very nasty if you choose the wrong settings, the low bit rates, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, you can get some very nasty banding and artifact in these low light shots here if you don't render it correctly using the right settings. Now, how do you choose the, the right settings? It takes a lot of experience, a lot of time to kind of know, you know, what you're after here. And it just, you know, based on experience, and if you're kind of new, this can kind of be problematic if you're on a tight budget or a tight schedule. Now, this is where compression preview comes in. So in After Effects, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And I'll just call this uh, compression preview. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the compression preview effect. And it's going to render really quickly a few frames. And basically, this is what compression preview looks like. Essentially, you have a segment length, which allows you to essentially choose how many buffer frames that you want to kind of uh, pre-render so you can kind of see the results here. So for an example, right now I'm seeing the results for uh, 1500 kilobits per second here. And as you can see, uh, it's starting to kind of break apart. You see some artifacts going on here, some banding and the, the kind of gradients right here. And uh, I'm not really sure if you can see this in the video very clearly, but if I go ahead and change the bit right down to 800, you're gonna start to see some real degradation right here. For an example, the nasty uh, uh, color uh, disorder right going on right here, some nasty banding. If I go down to further to 600, which obviously you're not gonna render this low of a bit rate, uh, but you know, this is just to, uh, to clarify what's going on here. You can really see the, uh, the nasty banding, the degrading of colors and you know, the nasty uh, artifact going on, the shadows going on here. And so you can really see that stuff so you'll know not to render using this uh, bitrate, obviously. So if I, you know, turn it up to maybe a uh, 2000, you can see that it's a, a little bit better, uh, clearer shadows and stuff like that. Um, but you know, let's say for your project, this didn't really work. You can easily just turn it up to, you know, 5,000, uh, maybe even 8,000, 10,000 until you get a result that you think will look okay for the final output here. So this is gonna kind of overkill, but you can see that we're getting less banding, less artifact, and let's say I'm happy with this result. I know that 15 uh, kilobits per second is gonna work for me in my render output. You also have a few options to change the mode. For an example, uh, this is just the average bit rate. You can also set it to constant uh, rate, where you set a constant uh, rate uh, to see the final output here. So the plugins give you a few options to kind of match you know, the render settings or the render options that you would have when rendering. I usually keep it at average bit right here. And then of course you can set the keyframe every uh, nth frame, uh, which is a very common render setting option that you have. So I usually do 30, uh, so that's pretty good. I usually uncheck frame reordering. So you should check that off and it'll, you'll see, uh, you know, not a huge difference obviously, cause this is just one single frame here, but you can kind of see that uh, taking place. So of course you have this segment length, which allows you to change, um, I guess the buffer range at the time indicator. So right now I'm at, you know, frame uh, 23 here. If I set it to maybe like 30, it's gonna render a range of 30 frames around this area here so that I can, you know, scrub through it and kind of see the results. So for an example, I can easily just scrub through it right now. And you can see that it's rendering very, very fast and I can easily see what my footage is gonna look like, you know, in 30 frames around this area to get a general idea of what the artifacts gonna look like. But if I go too far beyond that, it's gonna have to re-render again. So the segment length pretty much allows you to render a range that you can see uh, you know, what your results would look like. And at the bottom, you're gonna get some basic information that shows you uh, some basic information about you know, how large the file size is gonna be. So in my segment length, it's gonna be around two megabytes based on my bit right here that I set. And so this is just a nice handy little way to allow you to estimate kind of the uh, file size you're kind of expecting with the settings here. So it's a fairly basic plugin and it's very, very straightforward. There's not a lot of settings, not a lot of stuff going on. 
but it works as advertised. The only flaw that I see about this is that it's currently not available for Adobe Premiere. I almost never render using compression within After Effects. I usually render completely lossless or very, very close to lossless so that I can do all that compression stuff for the final output in Premiere once I add in the audio and do some basic cutting and stuff like that. If you're a guy that spits out a lot of content, renders a lot of stuff uh, in After Effects, uh, using some, some sort of compression, using certain bit rates and stuff like that, then this will be very, very handy for you. You can kind of preview your results before actually, you know, waiting an hour to find out that, you know, it's the wrong bit rate. So this is just a tiny little handy tool uh, for After Effects. It's available for both Mac and PCs, and it's gonna run you around $49 US dollars. So, you know, it's not that expensive. And if you do a lot of visual effects work, film work, then this can be very, very handy for you in After Effects. So, you know, just check it out. Compression preview, really cool, simple plugin. Uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys want to use it, check it out. Read my full review at the dojo link down below in the description or in the article down below. But that's pretty much it, guys, for this quick video. My name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.